Hello there, YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to Friday the 1st of November. Halloween was fun and fruitful for all the all the youngsters that participated. Even the ones that didn't. All the adult, adults enjoy all the enjoy all the carryings on and the costumes and all that stuff. But uh Christy and the grandkids, they all had a fantastic time. Got lots of lots of goodies. They had a ball. They uh they were pretty much tuckered when they got back though. Oh, they got back late. It was almost ten o'clock when they got back. So uh, yeah, they had a good night, and they all just crashed out. That was probably the quietest night since they've been here. <laughs> Played hard, ate a bunch of sugar, boom, they're out. But uh, anyway, again, rainy today. It's supposed to be this way for, well, I don't think there's even a break that you can see in the, in the near future anyway, in like the next week. But it is what it is in the great Pacific Northwest. But anyway, it's Friday. Let's get down south, get our work day in, start our weekend. Yo, come on along. Sharn's so pretty out here this morning, Mama. No. Mama's doing her little shopping list thing. Never I remembered something and I gave her my phone so she didn't have to dig hers out of her purse. And, well, that sent her off on, a, on her own little list of things she needs. Thing. This is only put down the back roads. Wait till the freeway it becomes a complete whiteout out here. I think it does yeah. 51 degrees out here today, and it never stopped raining for a moment. Yeah. Lots of trucks, lots of whiteouts. Lots of wetness. Yep. Yeah. It would be a good day to cuddle up. And Find a good mm -hmm. movie or something. Yeah, it would. Well, Mama, it is Friday. Yay. Let's, <laughs> let's go in there and bust it out. All right. Start ourselves a, a, a wet weekend. All right. All right, Mama. That's the yes, day goes on. All right. All right. Love All right. you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye <laughs> bye now. Bye. So my appointment, <laughs> probably because of crazy rain, didn't, uh, didn't show up today. So, uh... But a uh, 2024 S1000M, or I'm sorry, M1000R, single R, it's a naked go fast bike. Uh, one of those showed up, so I'll, uh, I'll put that together. But look what showed up the Cruise Tools Road Tech, the PA1, Pan America 1 Toolkit. That thing. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's heavy. Let's see if we can yard this thing open here right quick. Love these kits. I don't know how many of these things I have now. What was in there? Oh, they got the coolest little chrome sticker. It's chrome. Nice. A little roll. It almost looks like the BMW kit, just a different color, doesn't it? The, oh, look, it even has the, the part number for it. Jeez. That thing's a whole lot bigger than I thought it'd be. So you got your two wrenches for, for doing your axles. A 36, and it's got a extension. And then a 32 on the other side for holding. So you can get some torque on that thing. 14, 13, 12, 10, an extension. Because <laughs> you got a ratchet and a, I forget what size. What does it say? 10, 12, no, oh, that's the sockets. 8, 10, 12, and 13 sockets. And um, you got a little short extension. I love these little stubby wrenches. Perfect, nice, I think it's like a 75, tooth or something they're nice and smooth and um here's your axle like the bmw has a similar thing to that and you got this extension <laughs> if you're taking the tank off to get to your air filter the funky bolts you got to get to to get the tank off on a pan america so you need those and uh they show this as being used for holding the uh 
the little Allen thing in the axle when you're you're taking it loose. Some generic locking pliers. They oh, these two things are always in their kits. And you get some zip ties and some some wire. A set of hex keys. Looks like a four, four, five, six, and I'm guessing probably about an eight. What do we got here? Yeah, f yeah, four, five, six, and eight. And um, you got a set of torque keys. And what are those? Those are T20, T25, T30, T40, T and T40, T45. My tongue will catch up here in a minute. Tongue tied. And they used to have those little, little once you open the bottle, you really can't use them anymore. Loctite. Um, actually, it shows a picture of that right there. I mean, it's got a cap and you stick it on. Dude, that thing will leak in your bag. You use it once and throw it away. But this, in a, these little newer tube things, a little, uh, little thing of duct tape. Bailing wire and duct tape, you can fix anything, man. And I always add things to them, you know. I'll, I'll have some long zip ties I'll throw in. The tire gauge, you know, I've never used one of the tire gauge. I wonder if they're actually accurate. I should have, if I had the BMW on there, I'd just set the tires on that. That rear tire was awfully low. I spun around looking for anything in the tire. I didn't see anything going on, but I don't think it's been that long since it was here. I don't I don't know what we, if we did a service or anything on it last time. That's a very nice kit. Nice roll bag. Got a little screwdriver. Got all the multi-size things. And again, you know, I don't know what on a Pan America uses a Phillips and a flat blade, but they always include that. But cool beans. I like it. I don't remember. I think retail on it. Retail's like 149 And it has a lifetime guarantee. Absolutely no questions asked. You break or damage something. Even if you misuse it. Um, send it back. They'll replace it for free. And, uh, that will fit quite nicely in my little pouch. I love that it's got its dedicated one. You know, it's RTPA1. That's the part number of this kit. That it has its specific bag. Very cool. I get probably stuff on my bench. Flipping stuff around on here. That's really cool. Love those things. And years and years I've got one that's... Good Lord, that thing's got to be... Well over 10... And I hate to think how old that thing is. I'm trying to think. It's probably 04, 05, somewhere in there. It's a generic um, metric toolkit. And uh, that thing lived in my venture. And it was in my backpack when you know, I was riding mostly metric bikes and stuff like that. And um, I carried it until I got the BMW kit. The BMW... Like the Harley has some specific things. But BMW, when they went from the 1200s to the 1250s, and probably different again with the 1300s, um, they changed things so the kit changes. Well, I would just buy the parts. So that BMW kit, good Lord, that thing must weigh close to 10 pounds. I don't know what it weighs. Probably four or five pounds. It's heavy. And it's packed because I had to add some wrenches to it. I had to add another thing for the axle because it changed the axle size and I forget what all it was and I threw in that great big uh, T50 so that you can take the back wheel off of a single sided BMW which most of these well all the ones that are shaft drive are single sided only the chain and belt ones are well only the chain ones because the belt one that what was it the uh, F800 GT or whatever um, it was single sided even though it was belt drive that's cool that'll fit nicely actually that will fit in that toolbox and literally rattle, rattle around in there like it's lonely that toolbox is big but man just think how handy that thing is you can throw you know uh, uh, towels and uh, you know tire repair kits and all kinds of cool stuff I like it 
I'm always impressed with their toolkits. Very, very nice. Let's see what this beauty looks like in the crate. That is a lucker right there. Heck yeah. Amazing carbon fiber everywhere. Look at them bars. That thing's that thing's meant for business right there. A pure hooligan bike. A very expensive, high-tech, go-fast hooligan bike. You know that chain guard, rear fender, everything's all all carbon fiber. And the dust, that's normal. That's the dust they get when they're being crated up comes with acro exhaust those beautiful calipers Brembo's baby yeah that is so cool Normal switch gear for BMWs. M. That's cool. Let's get her out and get her inside before the rain comes back and I get it wet. That makes it harder to blow the dust off when it gets wet. So let's get at her. While I have this thing up here in the air, I'll give you guys some, some close up stuff here. Isn't that beautiful? These things are just a work of art. Look at them pegs. The bracketry that holds the, the pegs. They're adjustable. Adjustable brake pedal and stuff. A little carbon fiber, a little <laughs> really nice looking passenger pegs. Amazingly beautiful carbon fiber wheels. I'd hate to guess what this thing sells for. Outside of my pay grade, I'm afraid. Carbon fiber fender. Even has a little carbon fiber little wind deflector up there. Oh, I had it in the air here. Because I had to install the the center and side chin fairings even the, the uh, counter sprocket has a carbon fiber cover on it there's your shift assist pro i think you can actually see those things see this thing move see it same affair over here adjustability Look, graduation marks on the swing arm. <laughs> I think the Germans are probably one of the few that that is exact. What it, what it shows there is, is in exact order of, of, of straightness. M carbon. No worry for a tail tidy on this, although some people even find that little assembly too much to handle like why bar and mirrors they're not adjusted yet anyway just another peek with the S1000R or M1000R look at the shock there's all kinds of stuff going on in there there's your ride height sensor Sexy. Look at all that linkage going on in there. That's some high tech stuff right there. There she is. She's ready to roll. I can't ride it because it's all wet out there. So hopefully uh, Monday. There's, there's nobody chomping at the bit for it at the moment. But um, yeah, what a beauty. She's nice. Take one of my parking lot rides because I don't want to put any miles on them. 
Man, that is one good looking bike. I do like the naked sport bike look. What's well, tacking up up there? Let's, uh, let's take this thing for a, just a quick parking lot ride here. Gal, BMW Motorrad M. Ain't that pretty? Low fuel, I just put fuel in you. What you talking? Oh, I guess there's only two bars. Come on, I just had you running. Calm down. I hate smacking those things into gear when they're, when they're revving. A little con Ooh, yeah, we need to make this quick. Come on now. There you go. She's quieting down now. There we are. Woo. Very sensitive throttle. Oh, well, carbon wheels set the... Yep. The engine got it. Or the axles, or brake parts, fork parts, who knows. It's seen metal somewhere. Oh, she is sensitive. Holy moly. Wow. What an animal. Boy, you can just feel just like, yeah. She get unruly in a heartbeat. Ooh, look how pretty it is out here. Let's do a quickie through a, a top lot and come back through. Yeah, the roads are packing up nice out here. Needless to say, there's not a line at the, <laughs> at the car wash today. Hey, there's somebody going through there. Why not? Because I need my automobile cleaned. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be fun to negotiate this. Ah, it won't be bad at all. What an amazing motorcycle. I mean, this is the cream of the crop. The 1000R right here. I love all the little accents here and there. Some leaves. I need to put this thing down. <laughs> Watch, doesn't see me, doesn't see me. Just the the colors and stuff popping up from this thing is uh, just amazing. <laughs> I still have that employees only past that point and I just keep driving through. Howdy. You can practice your uh, awareness <laughs> driving around in parking lots like this. You gotta be alert. <laughs> it's funny, other than just crazy sensitive throttle, man, you can just put around this thing like a like a kitten. You just feel the, the like violence in the throttle. I love those airfoils on these things. The new 25, I think I was mentioning it yesterday, uh, M M1000RR. It's they're huge up on that thing. And um, they have like 49 pounds of downforce at like 130 or something like that. That's crazy. That's a small child standing on those foils up there. <laughs> Bet you the fairing frame has got some uh, 
rigidity in those, huh? That's a, that's a lot of down pressure. She keeps her hugging the road, though. Ah, she's so smooth, so new, so fresh. Them beautiful trees. Look at that. Somebody done snuck in there. Boy, I tell you what, they don't let them go. Oh, they don't let them go long at all. So Kelly and I were off, you know, for that week, and then we come in Monday and we take exit 30. You know, we're looping around to get up on fourth plane up here. We're like, holy moly, there's like this huge camp that has uh, appeared uh, and Kelly and I are going wow that's weird they used to look out squirrel hurry up oh look he's got some nuts in his mouth don't go rolling back on me but uh anyway I mean this camp was pretty big and uh, we come through Tuesday and there's all these road work signs and um we're going, oh, I wonder what's going on there. Working on something. Well, I <laughs> made around the corner, and they were bulldozing it all out of there. These have a couple of police officers standing by in case, you know, someone decides they're not happy with that. Or to tell them, you got to go. I'm going to get pine needles all over the tires, but... They'll go off by the time, not pine, but cedar, fir, whatever, fir. Look at that. That's beautiful in there. That beautiful on the ground. You hate, almost hate to drive through and disturb it. I don't know if these things even have self-canceling turn signals. Why would you care about that on, on something this fast? Most of the guys, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to roll it in downstairs. Yeah, those things are flinging around and getting on it. I got some. I got some wiping up to do. Oh yeah, that gummit. Wow. I don't care if you're even nowhere near into something like this. You got to look at that and just go wow. Look, the BMW round L is almost hidden by the uh, foils there. Carbon wheels, carbon everywhere. Nice. I think I was absolutely fine until I rode through here. Keyless remote stood in front of it. Can't stand in front of a BMW. Ooh. Does that <laughs> radiator fans that put off some heat? Holy moly! Oh, I can feel that steering dampener in that thing. Try to roll some of this off here. You know what? So, I don't, oh, what in the world? Oh no! They cut those trees. man I don't think they took any of those it was all the ones against the building there ah, got it. those things are beautiful it's the way of the world nowadays Oregon what are you doing across the river boy I'm trying to go slow I don't want to fling it right away whoa a little aggressive back there buddy holy moly oh he's coming after me well I'm very glad I got a chance to go take it for a rip I cleaned it up, take it up to the floor, and uh, if 
find herself a new home. Dang, this thing's amazing. Holy moly. I like the M1000R on the handlebar. Look, even the adjuster has got that blue anodized. Anyway, thanks for going along, coming along for the rip. And we did it without getting wet. Cool. There's still some beautiful colors out here. It's funny how it has that second little surge, you think. Most of the fall colors are coming and going. And don't even realize it. All of a sudden, bam! All the beauty pops out again. Well, when I come back here Monday, it will it will be um, over an hour past sunset because the clock switched back this weekend. Lord help us! Look at them beautiful trees. Anyway, we're heading home. Well, hello there, YouTube. Once again, yeah, of course. lost that light. <laughs> we pulled out and said, well, let's, let's get to go by and go and see if somebody just triggered it or has it been on for a while because it stays on for a bit. Yeah. There's our answer. One of them, one of them triggered them. Just yeah. like we were a little late to the game. I know if I need to run that way again. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that was a fun day at work. You know, messing with that BMW. And, Boy, that's pretty. Oh, man. I think Ooh. it's gorgeous. I like that naked sport bike look of that thing, too. Kelly's yeah. in there eyeballing it as well. That's why I did that walk around from up high, because she was looking at him like, hey, we need to show that. <laughs> but anyway, I reckon we're going to start our weekend. Yay. Heck yeah. Yay. <laughs> Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and you guys have a wonderful Saturday or Sunday. Thank you. Mom, you talk so quiet, the better didn't hear you over there. Well, usually I talk too loud. No? Well, now this time I'm talking too quiet. Well, I can boost it. Yeah, he needs a boost. Yeah, boost the volume up a little bit. And sometimes I get loud and he has to draw back. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, hope you guys have a nice weekend as well. And yes. we'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now. <laughs>